Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. All right, so for some of y'all, yeah, see, sorry things didn't work out as planned. Sorry things didn't work out as planned. This person, for some of y'all, somebody has a family or they have, they're either with their child's mother or their child's father or something here. The connection between the two of you guys were very was very passionate okay and this person is really bummed out that things are not work didn't work out the way they planned for them to work out okay <laughs> this is so funny because what just came out was like some of y'all are dealing with an aries or you could be an aries here also somebody wants them to leave them alone they are healing he says leave me alone i'm healing all right so this could be you this could be them i really feel like this is you healing all right Show me what else for this connection. Ooh, ooh. What else, spirit guys? I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. For so for some of y'all, y'all tried to tell this person they are not gonna be who you think you are. This person is not who they you think that they are. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be with this person. Somebody here had, was way too confident. See, that's the problem. I, you know what? I'm also getting you guys. Some of y'all were dealing with an Aquarius here. Um, what I'm also getting is the fact that like this person's ego, you tried to tell this person something and their e they were just all in their ego and they didn't want to listen to you because they were too egotistical, way too confident. This Now this person's like <laughs> literally like look too confident and then on the top of the deck is I'm sorry I didn't listen. Mm -hmm. Show some more here. I'm telling you. Some of y'all were dealing with a past life soulmate here. I cannot make this up. I told you. I knew I was supposed to come spiritually to come do this uh, reading. Because look, he ain't you. That I'm telling you, she don't. In that song, She Don't by Ella May. Ella May was literally like, she don't do what I do. She's, she's not me. She's not going to love you, support you, you know screw you whatever it is that you guys did for your person they are not them okay period they're not them Child. they found out quick didn't they find out quick and it's like now this person is really really regretting and they're thinking about yeah i'm, I'm i've been seeing other people pisces some of y'all are pisces or you're dealing with the pisces here so this person definitely was seeing other people or maybe this is you saying don't bother me i really could care less because i'm seeing other people and i'm dating i'm healing i've moved on this could be how you feel here um will you talk to me just fell out your person wants to talk somebody here is also having oh somebody's having financial difficulties here and somebody's really jealous of you. They're concerned and they want to talk. They're concerned that you have all these other options or you're seeing other people and you're not showing them any attention. They feel like they made a mistake here. All right. So Zodiac signs that came out already, Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. But you could be dealing with, you know, any of those. Yep, time apart. I feel like this time apart between the two of y'all has like given you a lot more clarity. It's giving you time to come to some form of realization and just accept things for what they are. The two of you, the two of you were on two different pages. It just wasn't working out. But this person is longing for you. They're missing you. They feel like you were their true one, true love. But I, I again. Y'all know I say this all the time on this on this channel, right? <laughs> Don't I say all the time, like, if you miss somebody so much and you feel like they are your true love, what, what's the problem? What, what What's the problem? And for some of y'all, the problem is ego, third party, somebody's baby's mother, somebody's baby father, which is karmic ties, somebody letting go of karmic ties, somebody coming out of their ego... Um, you know, want to be right all the time, always trying to prove something. <clears throat> yeah, this person is for some of y'all were addicted. To, is addicted to your sex, or they were addicted to your sex somehow. We have passion and addiction, devil energy here, Capricorn energy. Um, passion has come out twice. Came out once in this deck, <laughs> and is here again. This person is passionately thinking about you and longing for you and, and secretly yearning for you. They want that 
that body. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. They really think that you guys are really having the time of your lives. Like you're single, you're seeing other people. This person's trying to be patient and wait on things to unfold to see if you're I really feel like this person expects for you to maybe circle back with them or like check up on them. This person is pissed, you guys, that you haven't checked up on them. We have warning. Don't miss dismiss the red flag. Here we go with that. Somebody okay, Kim is there is something here the spirit really wants you to listen to to your intuition, okay, about the situation. If this person comes back towards you, you guys, all over this passion and this chemistry, this sexual attraction, spirit is saying like that that's might just be just because of sex and so that tells me that this third party for those of you your person had a third party um they're still they're still seeing this other person they haven't learned any damn thing show me what else for the collector boy this high key card you know what's so, so funny somebody here loves attention hmm or they really want your attention really bad hmm also here too, so I feel I feel the energy of like somebody being up on their high horse. I don't know why. It's like this energy of like somebody claims to be so like religious or like for some of y'all this person has vows or I don't know. Everybody's situation is going to be different here. It's like their ego, they're up on this high horse and this ego. But I, I feel like it's shady. I feel like it's fake. It's not real. It's, I don't feel like it's real. Yeah, <laughs> for some of y'all, this person goes to church on Sunday, but on Saturday night, they are in the streets, drunk, having a good time, partying, all, they love attention, they, they love to be the center of attention, they love to be out having a good time, you know, this peacock energy is somebody who definitely has way too much confidence, they think they are the shit, they think, like, okay then, I guess so. If that's what you but you have blocked them though <laughs> that could be why you guys blocked this person you're like no no thank you you could have blocked them on social media you could block them on your phone yeah you blocked them you know why you blocked them because you're in this type of energy you're bossed up you're in this divine masculine energy you're in this divine feminine energy here you are doing your own thing you're healing you're single you're like leave me alone block right doing your own you're <laughs> <laughs> oh boy you're creating you're focused on your money and stability right now I'm, look something aren't we talking about too much confidence in the ego i'm telling you this person really really loves attention they're very self-absorbed they think the world revolves around them oh my gosh the world does not they, and they're watching you and talking on social media all in your business Keeping tabs on you. Anytime you post something, they're 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 low key lurking. Somebody may have accidentally like pushed the like button and tried to take take it back. Look look at this controlling. Someone thinks they can control a situation or people. So this this is giving narcissistic vibes. Okay, male or female doesn't matter. Whoever this person is, they literally love attention. I think because this person gets so much attention. You know, they think they all they have it all all together, but they really don't. Shit, they really don't. Yeah, mm -mm. I feel like you are the exact opposite of this person. This person high key loves attention, and you're like, why do you like that much attention? Yeah, then look at the bottom of the deck, chaos agent, drama. Somebody loves drama. They love, they even create the drama on purpose because of, because they want the attention so bad. Show me what else, spirit guys. Oh my God. Look, listen, I don't know, it's like this person is, didn't I say this person stalking you? Like, 
they are in your business for sure for sure i mean up late at night shit they you see how this person has like a cover over their head like they're hiding so like if this person has a third party they're like watching you while this person can sleep next to them or in the house or something they're obsessing over you we did talk about how somebody was obsessing over over you uh it's like this person can't focus on whatever the hell they got going on around them if they have somebody around them especially a third party they can't even focus on the third party because they're too busy worried about what you got going on negative self-talk this person's depressed somebody could have mental health issues here see this person comes across this card says lacking confidence or mental health issues it could be one or the other you know what's going on with your person or especially if they have mental health issues but remember i was oh i feel like this could be the third party too for some of y'all the third party is like you see how this person is like yelling at this other person here for some of y'all i'm getting two different things uh one thing i'm getting here is like you're, if they have a third party, this person could be yelling at them for stalking and watching you. Or they may have gotten caught stalking you too for some of y'all. That's funny as shit to me. <laughs> That's so funny. But like, low key, if this is like, also could be your person's like, inner voice. Because they're coming up like, they're appearing to be so confident, so in control. But this is a facade. It's not real. It's just a, it's a veil. It's, it's a mask. Like, they're just masking this because this, that's how they cover up their insecurities. Which is typically what narcissists do, male or female. Physical abuse. Yeah, listen, I don't know. I feel like this other person, if for those of you, your person has a third party, I feel like this, this person literally, like, is low-key like really emotionally or verbally abusive to them somebody here is maybe your person was verbally abusive, abusive to you hold on what is that messaging so now somebody wants to talk to you all right somebody's getting ready to send you some messages somebody wants to speak their mind they've been texting or typing messages to you for those of you this person doesn't have you you don't have your person blocked they're getting ready to call you for those of you who do have your person blocked they're about to call you and press it says calling star six seven they're about to dial star six seven or star six whatever it is they did they do to get through the block and it's going to say no caller id unknown or it's gonna say unknown so they're about to try to but i feel like again this is just a love bomb you i don't feel like they have want anything from you yeah this person stuck with a karmic and they feel trapped and stuck to this karmic stuck in stuck in life circumstances or with a person bound to unhealthy things refusing to walk away or this person is stuck to this person financially and they have soul ties karmic soul karmic soul ties with this other person i mean you should be happy that you're focusing on you right i think to you guys i'm gonna probably do a divine masculine to divine feminine reading here I have planned to do one. I don't know if I'm going to get time to do it tonight. Somebody is in some three of swords energy. You could be a Libra. Your person could be a Libra here. Somebody is definitely heartbroken and feeling stuck and trapped. I know that you're healing. Maybe you are heartbroken at the, at the way that this, how this went down, you know, but I don't feel like this is your person in this energy. Somebody can't sleep at night. They're really reflecting and thinking a lot. Could be dealing with a Virgo, the Hermit. This person is definitely, this person could be drinking late at night, doing drugs late at night, doing something late at night because they can't sleep, which is like we said earlier, you know, if they can't sleep at night, they're stalking you on social media and they done got caught stalking you at least once. Show me what else here. The high priestess. Look at this. This person's thinking about all the secrets they kept from you. This person is heartbroken over that. Pisces energy again. You could be a Pisces. This person is thinking about secretly rushing towards you. 
Yeah, this person is trying to rush towards their happiness. Ten of Cups. They're trying to rush towards... Toward, yeah, they want to bring balance back into the situation. More Libra energy here. See, I'm just saying. They're trying to make something right. They know where their happiness lies. Some of y'all could have um, a new connection coming in. Also, that's not for everybody, though. We'll see what else. Yeah, and as soon as I say a new connection, look at what's on the bottom of the deck, the chariot. You could be dealing with a cancer. Um, two of Cups just came out with the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Wands. All right, so... <clears throat> this person feels trapped and stuck and tied and bound to this, this fire sign. If they're not a fire sign, that's just that. That's just the passion that they feel stuck and, stuck and attracted to. You know what I mean? This is you, how they feel about you. They are they see you looking good on social media or they're thinking about, you know, how good you look or how you're, you know, whatever, growing and doing better. This person's also thinking about coming towards you and starting a new beginning. Aries energy. Alright. They definitely want to reunite. Show me more here for the situation, please. Thank you. You're guarded. You're like, no hell to the no. I don't want it. <laughs> Seven of Wands. You are guarding yourself and setting heavy boundaries. Heavy boundaries. I mean, that's, you might literally still have this person blocking. You're not taking this person off block, period. You don't, you're not trying to be in any confusion. You're not, you don't want to be in any drama. You don't want to be juggled. That's not the situation that you want. Yeah. I think you're just slowly working on yourself. Hmm. I wonder what this burden is, though. <sighs> this person feels like they have a lot of baggage. That's why they can't end this karmic cycle. That's what I'm getting here from this world card and this ten of wands. That's why this person's slow to like be with you because I feel like nine of pentacles. I feel like they're slow to be with you because, or slow to move or slow to act because it's like somebody has so much baggage. Let me get one more card. Clarify the world. Why is the, tell me about the world? Why is the world here? Yeah, it's like this person can't see the forest through the trees. It's like so much baggage. It's it, the feeling is overwhelmed. It's hard for this person to be able to see what they really how it's gonna work out in the future. I think you definitely aren't looking in the rearview mirror. Somebody's secretly planning something too. Yeah, somebody's secretly planning to come towards the Queen of Cups, a Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio, the person that they really love. Yeah, they're making a choice. Gemini energy. Somebody is really making a choice here, and they're and they're like planning it. The reason why I say that is the Three of Wands is here, the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Lovers. I'm gonna show y'all. It's like, uh oh, it's like the energy of. Can y'all see that? It's like the energy of like. How can I sneak off and do this and plan this? Three of Wands is about planning um, in the future. It, it, it Seven of Swords is definitely, you know, obviously like the lying, cheating, stealing card, hidden agenda. Um, but this is also like strategizing and keeping something to yourself. Queen of Cups. Somebody's trying to make a decision to come towards this Queen of Cups or how, or how to do it. Let's see what else. So we got Gemini energy here now. Pisces, Virgo, Libra, strong Libra. What else? This person is really fiending for you guys sexually, by the way. Wedding just came out in reverse. First of all, for some of y'all, somebody's, you know could be married and the marriage isn't doing so well but look at this look at this 
passion has come out several times. Like somebody literally wants, it's, it's trying to, <laughs> somebody trying to beat your back in. Oh my God. I'm sorry I said it, but this is what I just got from that. Like I've never seen these two cards come out together. Never. There's something about commitment here. Somebody's like, I have engagement and release purge. Show me more here about this energy. It's like somebody's got to release something or make a decision. If this, this person feels so physically drawn and connected to you. This is ridiculous. Look at this. Magnetic connection and passion. And then you have... I mean, the sex must have been really good, I guess, y'all. <laughs> and top of the deck is longing and missing you. Yeah, they miss you. I just think you guys, they want to communicate with you so bad. I think you guys are just kind of focused on yourself. You're growing. You're doing better. You know, you're not so reliant on this person. You're, you're, wealthy, you're headed towards a new journey. You turned your back to this. For some of you guys, this is a twin flame. Here, let's get some more messages. Oh, you know what? Show me more, more about this masculine. Show me more about this person. And the masculine could be male or female. Yeah, this this person is really attractive. This person is very, very, very attractive, you guys. But the thing is, beauty fades. What's on the inside? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where all this attraction comes from. All this attractive energy. Somebody has unresolved feelings from the past. And they resent you. They do. They resent you. Show me what else about this divine masculine. Yeah, see, this person knows that they're going to be with you. If this divine masculine knows that they're going to be with you. It's going to take work. It's going to take work. They're going to have to be mature. <clears throat> they can't use excuses. Then we have... This person gave up. You know what I feel like? This person gave up on love before they met you. And then when they met you, it was like... Yeah. But then when they met you, it was like, oh my goodness, like I... Uh, like, real love is... If this is real. Um, this person found a way to be vulnerable with you. Like, you made this person open up and they felt like they can open up and be themselves around you mm. but this person is angry and upset with you right now <clears throat> you don't care no more and judgment I think this person really at one point they counted you out for some reason and they didn't give you a fair chance or they didn't they didn't give the connection a fair chance. That's for some of you guys, not for all of you. Okay. <sighs> Judgment. Hmm. Well, somebody needs to build their confidence here. I know this is your person. They definitely lack in confidence. They act like they're the most confident person in the world, but they are not collective. I'm telling you, they are not. I don't care what this person says, what how good they smell, what clothes they put on to make them look good. They're not confident. They are not confident. So, this person wants to start a new beginning with you and give everything another chance, but they're afraid you're going to reject them when they try to come back towards you. There's something about this is unconventional. Is this person wants to like it's like being with you, there's some controversy behind being with you. And this person is like ready to break the social norms and the controversy to be with you. Okay. 
But divine timing here, that's the part of the issue. This person really has to learn all the lessons that they're supposed to learn, you know, and that's what's been taking so long, which may also make sense here too, with this Ten of Wands and the World card. I'm telling you, your, this person had plans to explore their options and see other people, and it didn't work out the way that they thought it would. Okay. They weren't ready to commit. And then they got stuck with a karmic. Twin flame came out again. If there was any doubt in your mind that this person is your twin flame and they're ready for union. So, um, let's see. This is, Spirit says this is your last test. Still the same person and nothing has changed. Have you learned your lesson? So this person may come towards you. They are going to come towards you. And then we have hidden plans. Literally, I can't make this up. Remember when we saw that seven of fours? They're choosing not to reveal everything to you. Proceed with caution. Don't ignore the red flags. It's like this person is going to come back towards you, but they're still hiding something. You don't, you know, trust them. That's why Spirit is saying you trust your intuition. Driven by jealousy. The thought of you being with someone else drives them crazy. Didn't we say that already? Jealousy. Look at that. We, I'm pretty sure we did talk about that several times. So, anywho, that's your reading. Y'all hit the like button. I'll see y'all later.